chat window. Because we're good at this. So we can talk to people. Here are our notes because we're totally going to cheat and read stuff because that's what we're like. So this is completely unannounced. Sorry, we cannot program such things because, um, well, we're busy. So Tuesdays at 8 p.m. is like the only time that we can be like, we are going to be on. Yes. The other times it's. I think we have time. Should we do it now? Should we do it now? Is now, now good? Now is good? Like, good? I now? mean, yeah. I mean, is it good for you? It was either this me. or cook dinner and wash dishes. And I was like, you know, let's record that thing. So procrastination can be our friend. I could be cooking right now? You, no. No. Oh. No. All right. You, you must be recording. Fair enough. We're afterwards, recording. you're going to go cook. Uh, cooking afterwards. Cooking Got afterwards. It. Okay. Good. Excellent. We're straight now. What are you cooking? Chicken and sausage. It's like yeah. deconstructed. It's like I made up this amazing dish mm-hmm. except later i just realized it was gumbo with less stock and no okra and no okra because Which is very sad okra is terrible it is not okra is terrible amazing. that's why it's not gumbo because there's no okra now that we have alienated vast swaths of louisiana no, no. what we've actually done <laughs> is we have split our fans in half right those who adore that wonderful green vegetable that adds flavor to this dish and slime and those who are snotty about what they like and don't like hey ruin filet you know what's you, you know where filet comes from sassafras okra no, it doesn't. Okay, Fila, Fila doesn't. But the same job gets done from okra. Yes, mm-hmm. okra can be a mm-hmm. thickening agent. Yeah. It can also be a sliming agent, like yeah. Slimer. Do you know- and while he is green and cute and floats, <laughs> not something I want in my food. No, he also smokes cigars. I don't really want that in my food either. That's fair. It That's can fair. be nice when you're sipping scotch. Sure. Not that I do that. But I have friends that do. Fair. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I can see that, but not in my food. I, I we, we agree on that. Okay. No, no cigars. No cigars. Or Slimers. Or Slimers. In our food. In our food. We could put scotch in our food. Scotch in the food would be yeah, all right. Depending on the food. It's like work. a really nice creme brulee with a little like, or no, bananas foster with a really nice... Flambe with I like brandy on that though, man. It's true. It, mm-hmm. it is more more appropriate. I don't know. I'm sure we can figure something out. Probably. I think we're supposed to be talking about the company though. Oh, mm. let's do that. Okay, let's do that. All right. Greetings. Like we just turned on. Greetings. Like we just started. We just Hi. hit start. Hello, readers and writers. Uh, there's so much going on at Cursed Dragon Ship Publishing and apparently in our kitchen Absolutely. that we, I really don't have time to keep up with the writing blog you know where i tell you what's going on Mm -hmm. so instead Mm -hmm. we're like let's make a video newsletter like something out of i don't know sci-fi yeah we're cool like that very futuristic Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you want to keep up follow us on twitch at twitch.tv slash slash cursed dragonship or subscribe to our youtube channel at cursed dragonship.com slash youtube um i'm kelly lynn colby editorial director and i'm kevin colby operations manager so much has happened over the last couple weeks, we can't wait to fill you in. First, I finished the second developmental edit of Holda, Daughter of the King by J.M. Jordan. It's book one of a brand new fantasy series, The Daughters of Tehran Saga. When darkness threatens to destroy the delicate balance between life and the afterlife, only Holda, the souling possessed by the darkness, has a chance of defeating him and saving the entire realm and the fabric of reality itself. You can look forward to that release in September. I cannot wait until you read it. We've worked really hard on this. It's a fantastic, fun world. Kind of exploring the before life and the afterlife and the life. So it's it's really fun. And if you're curious about um, J.M. Jordan, you can check her out at jmjordan.net. Next up, the audiobook for The Collector by our one and only Kelly Lynn Colby uh, is complete. Uh, we just are waiting for the distributor to approve it so it can go out to everywhere you find fine audiobooks. Mm-hmm. Uh, the narrator, Brianna Roberts, of uh, Voices by Brie, completely captured Fauna Young's voice. Mm-hmm. I really can't wait uh, for y'all to get a chance to hear it. It's fantastic. It's going to be lovely. She's awesome. I can't wait till you get to hear that. And we've been so busy, I can't keep up. Notice the theme? That's the theme. It is kind of a theme. It's the theme. Mm -hmm. So we signed a new developmental editor contractor, Tracy Leonard Nakatani, to specialize in our fantasy division. With more hands at work, we'll be able to get more books to you quicker. She has a great eye and understands our vision 
and I can't wait until you meet her. Her and I, we were, um, you'll hopefully get to meet her this summer mm -hmm. when we go back to Western because her and I did the publishing program with Kevin J. Anderson up at Western in Colorado. So we know each other well and she's fantastic. So it's going to be a great partnership. Speaking of getting more books into your hand, uh, the call out for Misspelled, an anthology of Magic Gone Awry, mm -hmm. is closing on Wednesday. If you have been polishing that that perfect gem of a short story about magic gone, huh? <laughs> get it to us. Absolutely get it to us by uh, by Wednesday, March 31st. Uh, mm -hmm. All the details for submission are on our website, curseddragonship.com. And the review of Kevin Petway's novel, A Good Running Away, will be featured in the actual Kirkus publication. This is so exciting. They actually publish, uh, they review hundreds of books a month. And only a tiny fraction of them get chosen to be in their publication. So it's going to be in their publication on April 1st, and we can't wait. It'll introduce this series to booksellers and all kinds of amazing people. So when you go out and you go to your bookseller and you're like, I want a good running away, that's the perfect time for any of these local books um, bookstores, which we love to support. We love our indie bookstores. Mm -hmm. um, we are indie ourselves. We, we like-minded. I get them. Absolutely. So on April 1st, uh, they will, which they probably have Kirkus. It's pretty common for them. Libraries mm -hmm. too. Uh, this will be in there. So we can't wait. We're so excited. And if you want to see the review now, you can go to KirkusReviews.com and search for A Good Running Away and it'll be in there. And my theme today is apparently Kelly because... That's your theme every day. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, Kelly won third place in the first annual Authorology Short Story Competition. Uh, this uh, organization, Authorology, helps writers navigate the ever-changing world of publishing. Mm -hmm. Can they help us? Because, man, this stuff gets confusing they all the time. do help us. Oh, well, they do. See? Perfect. It's who you know. They have many opportunities for learning and networking. They're a fantastic group. Mm -hmm. uh, to learn more, check out authorology.org. Excellent. So that's all the news we have for now. Thank you for listening. We'll see you soon. All of the links that we mentioned will be down below in the show notes. Please like, subscribe, mash buttons, do follow. the things, follow, all the things for whichever platform you happen to see us on. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. You have to hit stop, right? Yeah. That's it's usually, a stop button. That's usually appropriate. Stop streaming right here. <laughs>